But from Bill O'Reilly, Chapter 3, The Forces of Tradition, right? Uh, let's read from Bill O. On October 7, 1996, the Fox News Channel went on the air with about 15 million potential cable subscribing viewers out of a U.S. population of about 300 million. At the time, the prevailing and smug wisdom in broadcast circles was that FNC would die a gory death, just like CBS Channel for Cable Eye on America. CNN patriarch Ted Turner was quoted as saying that his network, network would, quote, squash Fox News like a bug, end quote. That squishing sound you hear is Turner's prediction underfoot. Ted's prognostication turned out to haunt him, as Fox News now reaches more than 80 million American homes and consistently hammers CNN in the ratings. The reason is simple. Fox News Channel is far more interesting to watch and allows traditional points of view to be heard, something CNN rarely does, even on big breaking news stories like hurricanes and terror bombings when no point of view is necessary. Fox News dominates. Bill O'Reilly, culture warrior, right? Um, so let's think about that, just what he had to say there, right? Very important. As we think about how we communicate and get organized. Um, labor people, organizing people, they tend to fight a lot. I don't really get it. I've only been here in this space for about a year. I got fired September 13th, 2022. So literally a year and a couple weeks, right? I don't understand why people in labor don't get together and, and kind of work on their common good. Bill and his buddies at Fox, they get it, right? 300 million Americans. Uh, now it's probably 330, but I get his point. So we're going to do some math. Not the math. And we're going to do that with Bill and Fox News, right? So Fox News... says that they're getting, uh, let's see here, just to quote that number again, 80 million people. They are saying they're getting 80 mil out of 300 million. You know what? Let's just say that they're right. That sounds right. Okay. So let's see what percentage that is. And, and again, we know that now it's uh, more, but... That book was written in 06, so we'll use the 06 numbers. It's fine. I'm sure as the population has gone up, their ratings you know, go up with it, probably in a linear kind of a way. All right. So Fox News, they're telling us that 80 million people out of 300 million people watch. Well, what is that percentage? Well, we know, uh, let's see, we know the zeros cancel, so we can do 8 out of 30. 8 divided by 30, 8 out of 30 people, huh? Well, we can reduce that. We know that that's the same as 4 out of 15, right? We divide by 2 both sides. So 4 out of 15 Americans is what he's saying is watching Fox News. Uh, at one point in time, all right, that's probably right. So 4 out of 15. Well, we're going to do some division. Uh, 4. We know 4 or 15. Yeah, it's like, like a quarter. Uh, we could multiply 4 times 4. We get 16. 16 is close to 15. So we're thinking... <laughs> In our heads, roughly 25%. That's what we're going to guess, right? So we're going to go 4 divided by 15. And look at that. It equals 26.6666666 repeating percentage. All right, so let's write that down. 4 divided by 15 equals 26.6 repeating. We put the line over the 6. Um, to let you know. And again, that's a percentage, so we multiply by 100. And our units did cancel. Our millions over millions cancel. Mrs. Shuck would be happy about that. Your units have got to cancel. Uh, don't know what to tell you. It's very important in engineering. And Mrs. Shuck went to the C's College, the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, excellent school for engineering. Is it as good as Cornell Engineering? Maybe not. But is it damn good? And is the University of Pennsylvania a better school than Cornell? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so Mrs. Shuck, Ivy Leaguer herself, teaching me math. So Bill is telling you that 26% of 
of people watch Pox and they consume it with regularity. Ted Turner, Ted Turner was wrong. Ted Turner went to Brown. We love Brown. Uh, interesting that Ted Turner went there, right? Ted Turner, Brown University alum, uh, not winning. So 26%, one out of four, right? Because we know we're going we're gonna to do some math here. So 26.6, that's about 27, right? That's about 27%. So if you think of a circle, a pie, well, 25% of the pie is a quarter of the pie. 25 divided by 100, you're just going to have to trust me on this, is 4. And so, you know, that shading here on the, on the pie, that's 25%. Bill is saying, you know, he gets 27. Fox gets 27% of viewers. So maybe it's like adding one more sliver of a little piece of the pie, right? One tiny little extra bite. That's 27%. 27% of people watching the television in America. I mean, no, no, no. 27% of Americans. 27% of Americans are listening to this guy talk and hearing his points because he does them with clarity. He does them with humor. And he understands you got to stick with the message. So when I talk to you, I'm telling you, uh, trying to get you to understand that the same way, right? Um, you need to... Get organized. You need to have a message. The message is this. Get organized, right? Fox News, powerful communicators. That clean and simple messages, right? And that's how they're getting one out of four people to watch. They call it traditionalism. <laughs> uh, and here's what he says. And then there's me. So we're going back to Bill O'Reilly. So he says, and then there's me. While I am perhaps the strongest traditionalist voice on Fox News team, my perspective does not translate into conservative ideology. As anyone who watches The Factor knows, we scrutinize all the powerful all the time, no matter where their politics lie. For example, I have scorched the Bush administration for its failure to secure the borders, its apathy towards alternative energy and environmental concerns, and its mistakes in post-Saddam Iraq, among other issues, and everyone in the nation's capital knows there is no political cheerleading on the factor, period. We are watchdogs, not lapdogs. Wow. Bill O'Reilly standing up for the normal American, right? So he says. Where's that in labor? I don't know. You know, uh, maybe we'll be that one day, me and Grumpy, because, you know, we keep things simple, right? Bill, keeping it simple. Bill's telling you, I'm not political. I love that. I hate everybody, right? <laughs> That's an easy to understand message, right? Um, you want to win, keep things simple. You know, deliver the framing like Bill, right? So I'm telling you, you want to get more money? You, you need to get that labor done money? Uh, join a union, form a union. We're going to help you do that. Get organized, right? <laughs> 